section 177 by sampayana continued hearing this arjuna said o gandharva whence arose the hostility between vishwamitra and vasishta both of whom dwelt in a celestial hermitage o tell us all about it the gandharva replied o patta the story of vasishta is regarded as a purana legend in all the three worlds listen to me as i recite it fully there was in kanya kuja o bull of bharata's race a great king of worldwide fame named gadi the son of kushika the virtuous gadi had a son named vishwamitra that grinder of force possessing a large army and many animals and vehicles and vishwamitra accompanied by his ministers used to roam in quest of deer through the deep woods and over picturesque marshes killing deer and wild boars once on a time while out in quest of deer the king became weak with exertion and thirst the monarch arrived in that state at the asylum of vasista and the blessed and illustrious rishi beholding him arrive reverenced with his homage that best of men king vishwamitra and ho bharata the rishi saluted the monarch by offering him water to wash his face and feet and hargya and wild fruits and clarified butter for the illustrious rishi had a cow yielding anything that was desired of her when she was addressed saying ho oh, give she always yielded the article that was sought and she yielded various fruits and corn wild or grown in the gardens and fields and milk and many excellent nutritive viands full of six different kinds of juice taste and like on to nectar itself and various other kinds of enjoyable things o arjuna of ambrosial taste for drinking and eating and for lapping and sucking and also many precious gems and rub robes of various kinds with these desirable objects in profusion the monarch was worshipped and the king with his minister and troops became highly pleased and the monarch wondered much beholding that cow with six elevated limbs and the beautiful flanks and hips and five limbs that were broad and eyes prominent like those of the frog and beautiful in size and high yudas and faultless make and straight and uplifted ears and handsome horns and well developed head and neck and who prince the son of gadi gratified with everything and applauding the cow named nandini addressed the rishi saying ho brahmana O oh, great Muni, give me Thai Nandini in exchange for ten thousand kind, or my kingdom. Enjoy Thou my kingdom, giving me Thai cow. Hearing these words of Ishwamitra, Vashishta said, O oh, sinless one, this cow hath been kept by me for the sake of the gods, guests and the putris, as also for my sacrifices. I cannot give Nandini in exchange for even Thai kingdom. Vishwamitra replied, I am a Kshatriya, but thou art a Brahmana, devoted to ascetism and study. Is there any energy in Brahmanas who are peaceful and who have their souls under perfect command? When thou givest me not what I desire in exchange even for ten thousand cows, I will not abandon the practice of my order. I will take thy cow even by force. Vashishta said, Thou heart a Kshatriya, endued with might of arms. Thou heart a powerful monarch. O oh, do in haste what thou desirest, and stop not to consider its propriety. Aghandarva continued, thus addressed by Vashishta, Vishwamitra, O oh, Partha, then forcibly seized Nandini, that cow, white like the swan or the moon and attempted to take her away afflicting her with stripes and persecuting her otherwise 
Tainos and Nandini then began Oparta to low piteously and approaching the illustrious Vasista stood before him with uplifted face though persecuted very cruelly she refused to leave the rishi's asylum beholding her in that plight Vasista said O amiable one thou heart lowing repeatedly and I am hearing thy cries but O Nandini even Vishwamitra is taking thee away by force what can i do in this matter as i am a forgiving forgiving brahmana the gandharva continued then ho bull in bharata's race nandini alarmed at the sight of vishwamitra's troops and terrified by vishwamitra himself approached the rishi still closer and said o illustrious one why art thou so indifferent to my poor self afflicted with the stripes of the cruel troops of Vishwamitra and crying so piteously as if I were masterless. Hearing these words of the crying and persecuted Nandini, the great Rishi lost not his patience nor turned from his vow of forgiveness. He replied, the Kshatriya's might lies in physical strength, the Brahmana's in forgiveness. because i cannot give up forgiveness go thou o nandini if thou choosest nandini answered castest thou me away o illustrious one that thou sayest so if thou dost not cast me off i cannot o brahmana be taken away by force vasista said o blessed one i do not cast thee off stay if you canst O yonder is thy calf tied with the stout cord and even now being weakened by heat the gandharva continued then the cow of asista hearing the word stay raised her head and neck upward and became terrible to behold with eyes red with rage and lowing repeatedly she then attacked vishwamitra's troops on all sides afflicted with their stripes and running ether and tither with those red eyes of hers her wrath increased blazing with rage she soon became terrible to behold like on to the sun in his midday glory and from her tail she began to rain showers of burning coals all around and some moments after from her tail she brought forth an army of pallavas and from her herders an army of dravidas and sikhs and from her womb an army of yavanas and from her dung an army of savaras and from her urine an army of kanchis and from her sides an army of savaras and from the froth of her mouth came out os of pondras and kiratas yavanas and singalas and the barbarous tribes of kasas and chivukas and pulindas and chins and hans with keralas and numerous other mlechas and that vast army of mlechas in various uniforms and armed with various weapons as soon as it sprang into life deploying in the very sight of ishwamitra attacked that monarch soldiers and so numerous was that mlecha host that each particular soldier of ishwamitra was attacked by a band of five or seven of their enemies assailed with a mighty shower of weapons ishwamitra's troops broke and fled panic stricken in all directions before his very eyes but wo bull in bharata's race the troops of vasista so excited with wrath took not the life of any of the vishwamitra's troops nandini simply caused the monarch's army to be routed and driven off and driven from the asylum 27 full miles panic stricken they shrieked aloud and behold not anyone that could protect them vishwamitra beholding this wonderful feat that resulted from brahmana prowess 
became disgusted with Kshatriya prowess and said, O Phaihan Kshatriya's prowess, Brahmana prowess is true prowess. In judging of strength and weakness, I see that ascetism is true strength. Saying this, the monarch abandoning his large domains and regal splendor and turning his back upon all pleasures, set his mind on ascetism, crowned with success in ascetism, and filling with three worlds with the heat of his ascetic penances, he afflicted all creatures and finally became a Brahmana, the son of Kushika, at last drank Soma with Indra himself in heaven. Thus ends the 177th section in the Chaitra Ratha Parva of the Heart.